What's going on, guys? It is I, Sum Joe Schmo, and we are back here with another Invincible Reaction to Season 1, Episode Number 6, titled You Look Kind of Dead, and I am still in absolute shock at the events that have just transpired within that last episode. I just gotta say, man, I, I was so hyped about continuing with this next episode, see where we go, because that last one, man... Like, that last one kind of felt a little, like, like season finale-ish because of how it ended. You know, obviously, it's only five episodes in. I don't think that is the case, obviously. But it's just, like, with the emotional impact it had on me as a viewer to be like, oh, shit, did we establish this guy, Mark, invincible as a strong Viltrumite, as somebody who's taking on his, his father's legacy, his, his father's mantle, you know, aspiring to be great. And quite literally just was decimated by Battle Beast. I, <laughs> it just was like, it's kind of like funny to me because like from, from playing MMOs so many times in my life or from playing so many MMOs in my life, it's like Battle Beast is like one of those like starting characters where you're like, dude, this guy looks like a badass. I want to start as a lion. <laughs> and like a part of me is kind of like, oh shit, this is really chill. The fact that this lion is like completely taking him out. But obviously with the amount of time we spent with Mark and everybody, you know, in the Guardians and Rex and everybody. It was just like, what a way to establish, like, a villain. A, a somebody that now Mark has to overcome. Because a lot of these things that he's been doing and a lot of these obstacles that have been in his way have been relatively easy-ish. I would say other than, like, what, the, uh, uh, I forgot the race that invaded in episode two. The one that he, like, he kind of got a little messed up when he faced them. But nothing quite severe as this because this seemed like in episode one how Omni-Man was like you know uh, completely destroyed by the original Guardians even though he survived he was still left battered and beaten it now kind of replicates now Mark's battered and beaten state you know and it, it is showing and, I, and that's what I um, really liked about the, the conclusion of that episode where obviously now they seem to have an understanding that maybe a Viltrumite isn't completely um, undefeatable because of obviously Omni Man's episode one beatdown and now with Mark's beatdown. Um, you know, now they're investigating ways of just being like, because again, it's what I was going back to what I was saying, where you have to have like some sort of contingency plan with these types of heroes, right? Because it's like if they're left to just run rampant, like, how do you stop them? How do you stop an Omni Man? Anyway, guys, if you are new to this channel, welcome. This is a little bit more of a serious intro. I'm usually kind of off the cuff kind of guy, song and dance, look at these fingers. But, you know, we're gonna jump into this. You know, I do reactions here to Invincible every single Thursday. I hope you guys are enjoying this journey. I know I am, and without further ado, guys, we're jumping into this one, episode six. Once again, titled, You Look Kind of Dead. Great. Why were you hiding in the bushes? Oh my God. I wasn't hiding in the bushes. I was drinking in the bushes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Duh, yeah. This homeboy's getting his ass decimated, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just waiting for it. You want, or ideally all of you, want to have sex tonight and get in on the ground floor of my inheritance? Wow, look at this. <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. Huge Woo! Trust fund. Yo! What? Who What's going on? Yeah, who the hell is this? Through a metamorphosis. A miracle. That will take you from useless boy old back to formula this crooked world to a brave explorer charting a shining future for all humanity <laughs> this guy <laughs> this guy abducted and drug and still has time to just make fun of somebody Jesus. oh god oh, so what the he is this man gonna get turned into a cyborg oh, no. goly i think we can all agree you're better without vocal cords Dude, don't worry just throws things, it on the, you're going to like a slab of beef. You're going to be beautiful. You're going to be in. Is the logo consistently getting more and more blood splatters on, or am I just going crazy? The needle won't go in. Oh, 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 God. Uh, I've studied Monster Girl's physiology extensively. Please stand. Yeah, how the hell do you do Get anything on her? Yo, but is, is this is this like going according to plan for a robot? Is he gonna like? Because he seems obsessed with uh, Monster Girl, like either his DNA or something, right? So he's like gonna try to take something from her. Damn it. Uh oh. <gasps> what? What the hell happened? 
Was that like an internal like defibrillator inside of him? I knew you'd pull through. Oh, how long was I out? Six days. Six days? Uh oh. No. Uh oh. No, no, I, I was supposed to. Um, I covered for you. Told her you got hit by a bus. Damn! What a great friend. <laughs> like, terrible cover up, but <laughs> you know, hey. I still can't believe you wouldn't let me see you in the hospital. Yeah, they had uh, weird rules about visitors. Remember when I first called you? After you made Todd give me your number? Yeah. I was terrified, and I could barely talk straight, and I messed it all up. You let me start over. Can we do that again? I mean, how do you say no to a guy who allegedly just got hit by a bus, right? <laughs> That'd be kind of a dick move on her part. <laughs> Remember Rick? The guy you couldn't stop talking about last summer? You make it sound like I was obsessed or something. Anyway, he's at Upstate U. I'm going for a tour on Friday. Staying over. They have a very handsome... Oh, there you go. There's a connection there. I meant world class, but also handsome. I want to come. Okay. And I want to bring Amber. Hold on. Please, William. I need this. <laughs> William, I'm about to play third string, baby. <laughs> Don't have too much fun. No drinking, no drugs. Damn. And no sex. Damn. Uh, no sex. Mom, come on, man. We're, we're going to college. Eh? Okay. <laughs> That's the staple of the college experience. Not my college experience. Oh, God. Going out? Oh, shh. Some dry cleaning. Something for dinner. That won't be long. You're on a deadline for the book. Isn't that what you told me? Or was I mistaken? No, that's right. Then you've got work to do. Don't you? Uh oh. Stay behind, bitch, is what she's saying. <laughs> you ain't coming anywhere. <laughs> Dude, he's like ruling this family household like with an iron fist right now. Oh. Can a person even have an eight pack? Anywho, Fuck, he knows. Come here. What's up, Rick? These are my friends, Mark and Amber. We've of course he's wearing a polo shirt, man. That's like, nice to meet you, every college guy has to go through a phase of wearing a polo shirt. I just don't understand why you can't do your new superhero helping job from here. You know why. Samantha! Yeah, with my patronizing fault. <laughs> That's awesome. School or, or college. I've got enough credits to graduate and college can wait. Samantha, I'm not going to watch you ruin your life. On some hippy dippy find yourself bullshit. Dude. I mean it. This is the opposite of what you should be doing with your life. In just a matter of two scenes, this guy's already the most despicable character I've met in this show. <laughs> like, it's. The worst day of my life is when you got powers. Cool, thanks, man. Wow. Appreciate that. <laughs> that hurts much more than I thought it would. Samantha! You get your feet back on the ground now! Bye, Mom. Yeah. Hi, Dad. Hey, that's one way of getting through to your child, huh? Ah, Mr. Sinclair. Once again, it seems you have an opinion to share. I have the truth. Oh, that's the guy that Who's the dick? was messing around, yeah, right? Sinclair. He's here on a In the beginning, yeah. Grant. All human failings are simply engineering challenges crying out to be solved. Oh, psycho. We're machines, and the sooner we recognize that, the sooner we'll reach our true potential. Dramatic. <laughs> this is the point in the class where I'm like, I think that guy's a villain. <laughs> You're all smiles now. <laughs> yeah, I guess I kind of like it here. What do you think about coming here? Together, I mean. If you want that to happen, you need to get your grades up, Mark Grayson. I think this is what I want. You know, when you start a sentence with I think, you automatically murder 90% of any romance in it. This is what I want. You and me, here, together. I gotta take notes, man, yeah. I, uh, I gotta stop saying I think now. Did you have a good time? Oh, Jesus! Woo! Holy shit. Oh, we got a cyborg on our hands. Ugh. Get away from him, you bastard! Yeah, <laughs> look at look at my Ripley over here from Aliens. Mark! Mark! Yes, baby girl. Yeah, he's gotta know. Come on, that's your best friend. Mark, run! It's like the staple of every superhero. Like your best friend has to know. Ow. 
Dude, my man's looking pretty sprightly after getting uh, hit by a bus. <laughs> Yo, my man Mark knows how to take a punch, though. He's been getting beat up these past few episodes. Okay. All right, yeah, hate, hates what you become, I guess, you know. Guys, the police are on their way. Where the hell did you go? Um, I ran for help. You left us here with... <laughs> That thing! Amber, no, I, that, that's not what happened. You said you wanted to start over. You said that. You promised. Even Eve vouched for uh, Would you just, at that point, just explain everything to her and just hope for the best? Or like, uh, maybe I've never dealt with like the, the whole secret identity aspect, but you know, it's like, hey, what do you got to lose at this point, you know? I spent the last few days going over it top to bottom, like you asked. See these flicks? They look like gold, but they're much harder. Or woman's armor. Mm. Sodium crystals. Burns. Are those burns? Friction burns. From something moving real fast. Maybe they attacked him first. Maybe, maybe he was trying to protect their legacy. Blood begins to oxidize when exposed to air. This is the oldest blood on the suit. Oh, so he struck first. No mm. I'm too scared to tell him. Oh, shit. This man is going to go nuclear. You know how hard it is to grow cells this quickly? Yes, that's why I hired you. Exactly. What's it for? And who yeah, who is, is this? Your work doesn't require answers to those questions. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, whatever. Fine. We'll call you. I wonder if this, like, thing is... It's supposed to be robot, like, in his, like, is he creating, like, a human form for himself? Everything okay with the lovebirds? Yeah, <laughs> oh, shit. Mark, Amber. She just left. Gotta call it up, uh, Mark now, dude. Something happened to Rick. We were on the phone and it cut off. We need to look for him. I need to go after Amber. You don't want my help. Every time I try to be a hero, I make things worse. Oh man, what yeah. I mean, it's like the you saw like standard like PTSD kind of forever. thing, where it's like it's everything you've done, you have this one instance of like something just blowing up in your face like that, and now it's like you just have so much like regret. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, it's okay. Did we win? Black Samson asked the same question. Yes, we won, in great part due to your sacrifice. Oh, thank God. I'm happy you're awake. Your recovery was. Tenuous at times. Now give me your soul. You stayed with me? I never left. Oh man, he's gonna kill his friend. Tell me where you or get his friend drunk? You know, he had to wear that suit when he met the president. <laughs> Tell uh, let that be a lesson to you. Never piss off your tailor. <laughs> What's the matter, Art? You seem a little nervous. Oh god, this is super tense right now one day it seems like you have all the time in the world and then the next it's gone uh, -oh. uh is that a threat i just wanted to swing by and make sure our partnership is still going strong like you said never piss off your tailor right <laughs> oh man super tense situation There you go, man. Come on. Go where you're needed. You don't need this. William? Uh, not quite. What did you do with William? Oh, gee. Oh, my God. It's an army of cyborgs. Damn, dude. Oh. Turning yeah, no, no, you're not a monster. You're just an asshole. Come on, Marky Mark. Let's go, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Rick? Stop. Don't do this. Rick, it's us. It's me. We met last year. 
Oh, he's appealing to his humanity. We had sex by the water. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Come on, Rick. It's me. No. No. Stop. You ruin yourself. Hell yeah, Ricky Rick. Boom! There you go. You brutes have set humanity back decades. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, get him, Billy boy. Hell yeah. Kick his ass, sea bass. Just lost it. Don't beat yourself up. I would have done the same. Thing. <laughs> yeah, there'll be plenty of other villains in the future to do that for you. <laughs> Oh, Cecil, don't use this technology, though. Go home, kid. I'll take it from here. I mean, uh, you think in Cecil's mind, he's like, well, if I can beat up a Viltrumite, maybe we can refine this technology. Why am I talking so high? <laughs> Joseph. Dark Queen. Oh, shit, dude. Others. Why did you do it? I didn't do anything. Don't lie to me. I know. I know you killed them, Nolan. You're drunk. We'll talk about this tomorrow. So dismissive, man. Fuck you, Nolan. Uh, 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 oh, shit. You, you, you think he's mad? You think he's upset? <laughs> Part of me feels like Omni-Man is like his, the only thing that's really holding him together right now and preventing him from going completely psychotic, crazy, destroy everything, is his family. And I feel like this is gonna be the catalyst that will drive him to do just like unspeakable things is the fact now that his wife is now aware of what he did and is then gonna kind of like distance herself from him. Cause he only, again, it's like the Lois Lane syndrome to Superman, right? In like Zack Snyder's universe where it's like, if Lois Lane dies, it causes Superman to tailspin. So it's like, I feel like his family or Omni-Man's family is the only kind of thing that's kind of grounding him right now. And I don't know about you. I'm just, I'm terrified to see like the effects and the consequences of like what this reveal of now him being the one that killed the Guardians is going to have on his family. Cause like, dude, I, I, we might not have seen it. I don't know what he did with his tailor. If he just like completely destroyed this dude and just like pieced it out. Or if he was like genuine about like, just like, all right, we'll keep you kind of around, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to kill you yet. The way the show is uh, depicts like the pressure of being a high school student, a teenager, and now having to deal with the additional pressure of now being a hero and having to like juggle all this, you know, it's just like, it, 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 you can't help but feel sympathetic to Mark's situation in the sense of, yeah, you want to do as much good as you can. And, you know, that does have these, negative consequences on your relationships but like, like i said there in that reaction maybe i don't know what it's like to have like a a secret identity um in this sense right this capacity of like being a superhero and then juggling this but it's like you would think that if like i don't know like would telling amber like the truth of the situation be like i get maybe he wants to protect her like it's like that superhero syndrome of like oh if i don't reveal my identity to other people then somebody in the future can't use it to hurt me but I mean, I guess in, in this situation, you gotta have to juggle your options, right? It's like, is Amber that important enough to you right now to like reveal that information or do you let let it just be and just, I guess, find something else out there? And then you got the Mauler twins who are now like working for Robot. Again, I feel like the theory right now is that Robot is using these guys because they're like obviously like masters of genetics, it seems like, because they can clone themselves. And like Robot is using this like human embryo embodiment of all these different like cells of superheroes to like, I, I wanna say like he's gonna like what, insert his like consciousness into this like ultra powerful being. And if that's the case, like, like I, I don't know, is like who, wh who ultimately is robot working for, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. Cause either that's the theory or the theory is like whatever this little like, like fetus particle is, is like his ultimate true master. But anyway, at the end of the day, all these theories aside, all these things and hoo-hahs and hoops that I'm jumping through really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, I'm still just some Joe Schmo, and this is our Invincible Reaction. Until next time, guys, peace out.